Hi everyone, I'm here with baby Lincoln. Oh my gosh, we're trying to get him to go. We as in me, we're trying to get him to take a little nap, but he just wants to be held by mama. Look at this, he has a death grip on my thumb here. So he may be joining us for this whole video. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but today I'm going to do a little haul. Um, this is going to be a two part video. So I have a Sephora haul and an Ulta haul. I'm also going to film a newborn must haves video. I did one when um, Liv was born. So I'll link it right up here. Um, so that way you can check that one out. And then I did to share some new newborn favorites. Um, but today is going to be a Sephora haul. And before I get into the haul, I do wanna thank our sponsor today, which is Dossier Perfumes. I've talked about them a few times. I love their fragrances. Can you hear him? He's like a hummer. Like Ethan was the same way when he slept. He would like do this little like humming noise. <laughs> oh, you sweetie. Just humming away. So I wanna to thank today's sponsor, which is Dossier Perfumes. I've worked with them in the past and I'm so excited to work with them again today. If you're not familiar with Dossier, they are a fragrance company that makes beautiful fragrances that are a dupe of some of your favorite high-end fragrances. So I have two new fragrances today that I wanna share with you. So these are the two that I'm gonna talk about today. Um, the other great thing about Dossier is not only are they dupes for your high-end fragrances, but they also don't have all of the um, chemicals that some of the high-end fragrances do. They have um, more good for you ingredients and um, they last really, really well on, on your body, in your clothes. Um, they just last and they're so much more fragrant, huh, buddy? Look at his sweet face. Oh, oh, are you smiling? He's two and a half weeks old today, growing like a weed. Oh my gosh, sweet baby. So the two that I'm gonna share today, the first one is called Floral Berries. Also, I love the packaging. I love how simple it is. Um, I love having them all like displayed on my little like fragrance tray back there. So this one has peony, red apple, berries, rose, carnation, jasmine, suede accord, and musk. And this one is a dupe for... The other great thing is it comes with like a little card here and it does come with a small little sample. So you can try it on your body, see if you like it before you, um, you know, bust open the full size. That way, if you try it, cause you know, fragrances do smell different on different people. They mix with your chemistry differently. So it's nice that they include like a little trial so that you can make sure you actually like the scent on you um, before you use the big one. So. Floral Berries is inspired by Jo Malone, Peony, and Blush Suede. And another great thing is, because these are cleaner perfumes, I definitely feel better wearing these when I have like a baby with me. I try not to wear too much fragrance when I'm gonna be holding a baby all day, but I do love that I don't have to worry about having a bunch of like chemicals and stuff on my clothes if I'm gonna be wearing perfume and then obviously holding my baby. So this one, has a light berry scent, has a little bit of muskiness to it, and a, but it still has like a little bit of sweetness. So it's not gonna be like a spicy, warm scent. It's lighter, sweet, berry, with a little light musk. I really like this one. So that one is Floral Berries. And then this next one is called Florental Coconut, and it is based off Tom Ford, um, Soleil Blanc perfume. And this one has cardamom, pistachio, bergamot, ylang ylang, tuberose, jasmine, cedarwood, amber, benzoin, and coconut. So the lids like magnetize on, which is also really nice. Oh yeah, this one has a really nice coconut scent to it, but it's not like that fake coconut. It's, it smells like true coconut has a little bit of like sweetness, but it's pretty coconutty. It's really, really nice, but not like in a weird way. This one is almost like maybe more something you would wanna wear in the summer because it kind of smells like tropical, kind of like a that really yummy, like beachy coconut scent. So if you like kind of that 
It's not sunscreeny, but you know like the good sunscreen that has like that really tropical coconutty scent to it. That's kind of what this one smells like. And I really like that. So this one will be one like spring going into summer. I'll probably start wearing a lot of. Um, the floral berries I feel like you can wear pretty much anytime. But those are the two new fragrances that I got that I wanted to share with you. Thank you so much, Dossier, for continuing to support my channel and partnering with me on this portion of the video. And now let's get into the Sephora haul. <laughs> get into this for haul isn't this so cute this sweater I got it from Vici it's like a little cardigan sweater it's kind of out of my comfort zone because it's like really loud <laughs> but I thought it was really cute so anyways I thought I'd give that a little shout out lack of sleep um, is getting to me I'm not sick I think I'm just like worn down from not sleeping for two and a half weeks so I feel great I just have like a little bit of a cough and I think like I said it is being worn down from no sleep. <laughs> but anyways, we're here. We're going to do the Sephora haul. I'm so excited. I have a ton of stuff. This is stuff that I've accumulated over the last, I don't know, two months or so. I'm not going to go in any particular order just because I have like stuff everywhere. I'm just going to start just going through stuff. Okay. So the first I'm wearing this today. This is the Vanish Airbrush Primer from Hourglass. I love the Mineral Veil. So when I saw they came out with a new primer, I was like, I need to try this. I really, really like this. It is beautiful. It is like, um, not really silicone-y. It's kind of lotion-y feeling, but it like blurs your pores. Your skin looks like it's just been facetuned. It's absolutely amazing. It is expensive, but I'm a big fan of Hourglass primers. Like the Hourglass Mineral Veil, I think you're gonna really like this Vanish one. It just is so beautiful on the skin and it really does a really good job of blurring come on it does a really good job of blurring your pores to look like they've just been face tuned it's amazing okay the foundation that i have on today this is a repurchase i bought this like eight years ago i think the last time i had this was i vividly remember wearing this when i went to reno to visit sam and lily was a baby like they were i think she lived in montana at the time and they went to reno <clears throat> they were in reno and um, I remember wearing this and it's the Dior Air Flash. This is in the shade 3N. And I just spray this like on my little, this thing, you guys, I always show you the Beauty Blender foundation. <laughs> just spray it on the tray and then dip my Beauty Blender in it and put it on my face. I love it. It just looks like skin. It's super lightweight. Oh, bless you. It's super lightweight on the skin and it looks, beautiful. I love it. So that is a repurchase foundation that I just haven't had in a really long time. A new foundation that I just got, which I'm loving. I posted this on Instagram. It's the new Charlotte Tilbury foundation, the beautiful skin. I have it in the shade six neutral. This is stunning. It lasts all day on me. It's beautiful. It's got a little bit of like that radiant glow to it, but it's not like oily or greasy. It literally lasts all day. It's absolutely beautiful. So um, it does come with like the little pump on the tube and it's stunning. So I purchased that real big fan. If you are a similar coloring to me, I do self tan. 6N is like a perfect shade. This foundation I bought a while ago, but I never hauled and I still haven't tried it. I've swatched it, but I haven't tried it. I forgot I bought it. It was actually in a pile of stuff to haul. Completely forgot that that pile of stuff was there. Um, this is the Milk Makeup. This is called the Sunshine Skin Tint. It has SPF 30 and I have it in the shade Medium. And it's, I just ordered the concealer because I've heard great things about the concealer, but it's in this like really interesting packaging. And then it has like this roller ball that the foundation comes out on. So I think Medium might be a little dark. You know, it's really hard sometimes when you're swatching inside of a Sephora store, but I'm excited to try this. So if you've tried this, let me know your thoughts if you liked it or not because um, I have forgotten to try it. I also picked up, as far as foundations go, I also picked this up. I also ordered the Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Radiant Foundation, um, but it's not here yet. So I'll let you guys know my thoughts on that. But this is the tint and I have it. It's SPF 20. I got it in the shade 315 Medium. I swatched it and it looked really beautiful. So this one 
says, does it have any info on it? Embrace your skin with a weightless skin tint that self-refreshes nonstop. Active Force technology to help resist heat, oil, humidity, and motion. 24-hour hydration, light coverage, skin-like finish. <clears throat> I'm like, oh, all that sounds nice. I figured this would be like a really nice one in the summer because it gets so hot here and, you know, with the kids, I'll probably be out by the pool. It has SPF. Yeah, that looks really nice. Yeah, I'm really excited to try this. Um, I didn't love the regular Shiseido self-refreshing foundation. I felt like maybe as the color was off, but something was not right about it. So I didn't like that, but I'm excited to try the Radiant one. Okay, three concealers. This one is the Ilia concealer in the color Chicory. And um, it's a little light. It's the True Skin Serum Concealer. And the color I got is just a tad bit light for me, but I've actually been mixing it with this like NYX Serum, found, uh, NYX serum Concealer and it's really nice. So this is in Chicory. And so far I like it. I just need to mix it with something a little darker. And then I got the Rose Ink in LX50 Concealer Corrector. I haven't heard anyone talk about this, but it's a newer brand to Sephora. And I was very curious about it. It's a huge doe foot. This one's actually like a little dark. I tend to like concealers that are closer to my skin tone because I don't really go for the super bright under eye look anymore. Okay, so that's Chicory. And then that one is the Rose Concealer. Okay, what do you think? What do you think, baby? And then this is the Anastasia new concealer. And this one is in the shade five, the Magic Touch Concealer. This one's a lot heavier um, of a concealer. Like it's pretty full coverage, huge tube and huge doe foot applicator. And that is the shade five. So, so far I'm still playing with them. I like them. Um, I'm always on the hunt for like a new great concealer. So if you've tried them, let me know your thoughts on those. And then what's next? Okay, two mascaras that I got. This is the Rare Beauty one. Um, I heard great things about it. I do like it. Um, I wouldn't, I don't know if it's necessarily a repurchase, something I'd repurchase again, but it's nice. It's the kind of wand that I like. I feel like I just have crap lashes. So um, it's really hard to find a mascara that like I really love. <laughs> because my lashes are crap. So they never look as good as everybody else's does. Um, this one is the Patrick Ta mascara. It's actually what I have on my lashes today. And I do like this one. I like the wand. Like some of the bristles are longer and some are shorter, like depending on what side of the wand. Um, so I actually do like this one. That was what is on my lashes today. So between the two, I think I like the Patrick Ta one better than the Rare Beauty one. These ones I bought a while ago. I don't know if you can still get them. If you can, I'll link them down below. Um, but they, these are the NARS, these like little, I don't know if this was a holiday collection or what, I'm telling you this is from like the last, I guess it's January, so it makes sense um, that it was holiday collection. But this is the NARS Laguna. And it's this really cute little tiny six pan. It's kind of like a grungier, like, color story but I like it I love the browns I love the shimmers so if this is still available I'll link it down below I'm actually gonna use this tomorrow I think I'm gonna set that aside I'm wearing all color pop shadows today um anytime that NARS comes out with a blush palette like I'm gonna buy it I just love their blush palette so this one was the Christmas one I think called high profile this highlight is so beautiful and I've used all of these I've used all these blushes, but look at that highlight. Isn't that so pretty? Let me give you a swatchy. Oh, it's so beautiful. And with the light hand, it actually works on my skin tone. And these are like the baked gelée formula. So this palette, stunning. Our gardeners are here. It's like, I was so excited to film today. Lincoln usually takes great naps in the morning. Not napping today. Totally forgot it was Thursday and that the gardeners were coming, so. It's a little chaotic, <laughs> but these are the swatches of that palette. Aren't they so pretty? Like I just love, I love NARS palettes. I'm just a big fan. Sorry if you can hear that. They, they'll be done momentarily, I promise. This is a newer one, so you can definitely still get it because I just got it in this week. This is the Afterglow palette. And I have this on my cheeks today. I have this color on my cheeks, but I have worn this bright orange with a light hand. It's seriously so stunning. 
oh, I just love NARS palettes, man. Like literally every palette they come out with, I swear, I buy it. Okay, let me give you a swatch. Hi, baby. I can't believe you're not sleeping. So here's the swatches for that palette. Really beautiful. Again, huge fan of NARS blush palettes. I have most of them that they have ever came out with. So they're just very, very nice. This highlighter is what I'm wearing today. This is the Tarte Champagne Glow. And this is stunning. Um, I think it's gonna work for a decent variety of skin tones. Look at that, so pretty, super creamy. I also have it on the inner corner of my eye. And then this is a newer one, this Liss in Aim High. Oh, bless you. And I've heard great things about, I've heard great things about this LYS brand. I think it stands for Love Yourself. This one is a little bit of a thicker, like texture and it's a little bit more golden. So I definitely have to have more of a fresh self tan for it to look not too dark on the tops of my cheekbones, but it's so pretty. I really, really like that. So I'd, I'd try other colors. You're just gonna have to buff it into your skin a little bit more. And then I got this Natasha Denona Rose and Cheek Duo. The cream blush with a powder highlight. And that's what it looks like. Super pretty. Hi. Hi, you want to say hi? Say hi. Hello. I'm just doing videos with my mom. Bless you. All right, so this I got because my friend Sam talks about constantly. It is the Celestial Light Translucent Powder. And this is a really pretty highlight. Um, I would not put this all over your face because it's gonna make you real glowy. Like you can see there, look how glowy that is. But it's so beautiful, like on the tops of your cheekbones, um, highlighting any high points of your face. If you want something that's not like really metallic-y, but more of that inner glow, the Celestial Light, really beautiful. I also got the Rare Beauty Powder in shade Light. It's what I set my face with. I really like it. I think it's really pretty. It's not like glowy, but it's not like matte either. It just is a really nice natural powder it doesn't add really any coverage i just use a big fluffy brush it just sets down any tackiness um, i love the sifter well i kind of made a mess in it but i love the sifter in it um so you can control how much powder comes out beautiful powder i'm really liking it i don't know if i've hauled this already but i thought i'd mention it this is the milk hydro grip eye primer and you can use it under your eyes or on your lids for a primer. I've used it both ways. I actually really like it under the eyes. Um, over the eyes or like on your eyelids, I didn't love it, but I, it also kind of reminds me of like the Urban Decay Primer Potion, which I don't don't care for. Um, but under your eyes, I really do like this for prepping your eyes before concealer. So I've been enjoying that as well. Um, a couple lip products. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Lipstick in Supermodel. I've been wearing this a ton. I really love this color. I just really love Charlotte Tilbury products. It's kind of like a rosy brown color. Beautiful, deeper nude. And then these Rouge, Vol Rouge Volupte Shines. This is in the shade, oh yeah, they 150. I forgot that they don't put the shade names on here. This is the one I have on right now. And it's just really pretty. A really nice, like easy to put on nude. What? What? And then this one's 123. Oh no. And that one's a little bit more pinky. And they're just really beautiful. They smell like watermelon. Like, I think it's watermelon, like this is what they smell like. They smell like watermelon and they're just absolutely super easy to put on, throw them on. I have um, Wherever Walnut by Makeup Forever is what is on my lip liner. And then I just topped it with, I think it's called Nude, Transparent Nude or something, Nude Transparent, that's what I have on. And I really like it, I think it's absolutely beautiful. So I love everything that I've tried from Summer Fridays. I like have tried so much stuff and I love it. I love their vitamin C serum, I'm using it right now. This is their vitamin C eye cream. It's got kind of this peachy tone to it. I have not tried this yet, but I'm so excited. I needed a good eye cream. I love vitamin C, my skin loves vitamin C. So very excited to try that. Then I got this new Fenty Liquid Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter. I'm not sure I like 
I'm crazy about this. It looks very glittery. So it comes out, it's got like a real strong, I don't know if it's gonna pick up, like yellow gold hint to it. Like it's clear, but it looks like it's got a bunch of like gold shimmer, which is just like not what I'm going for. So I don't know, I am not pumped about this one. It's in side check. This I might return um, just because it does not give me what I was. Liquid luminosity, sets pretty, endless way to glow. But it's glittery, I don't I don't like glittery highlights. Um, and then the last two things I got are from Rare Beauty. I've heard great things about it. This is Always an Optimus Pore Diffusing Primer. I've heard tons of people talk about this primer. And it looks like this. And it's just like a pore filling primer, kind of more like a lotion-y consistency. And then I got the Illuminating Primer because you guys know I love glowy skin. I wanna conceal the pores, but I also want my skin to glow. Let's give this one like a little swatch here. And that's what that one looks like. It does have a nice luminous look to it. I've been really liking the Urban Decay All Nighter Glow Primer. I've been really liking that one. Um, so I'm excited to try the Rare Beauty ones. So thank you guys so much for watching. This has been like a little bit of a chaotic video, but you know what? Real life, real life with a newborn and just got to go with the flow, huh? Huh, buddy? So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Dossier, for partnering with me in this video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. If you've tried any of these products, let me know down in the description box below. And do you guys like foundation, like review videos or like wear tests? I used to do them all the time, but I, don't, I just don't know if people like those. I like watching them because it, I love, foundation's like one of my favorite products to buy. So I always love watching reviews on it first um, before I buy them. And so let me know, do you guys like those kind of videos? Let me know down in the comments below. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day and we'll see you in the next video. Say bye. Bye. Yeah, bye.